Hi guys, another plant vlog here, and this is for the Ficus Elastica Altissima. And um, I recently discovered this, like, okay, so if I discover this plant, let's say day one, I got this plant in like day five. <laughs> um, so the variegation for this particular Ficus Elastica Vargata, which is also called uh, the Altissima, is that the leaves, the variegation is a light green, um, a lot of more common, I think the most common variegated ficus elastica is the um, Tineki. And also, I think second would be the ruby pink. And this one, um, I didn't even know about this until very, very recently. Like I said, it, um, when, I, when I saw this, I looked for it and within a few days, I had it. So I got really, really lucky. I know a lot of people have like plant wish lists and it takes them years sometimes and I just got really lucky. So I got her here and she was, uh, she looks really, really great. And, um, I will link down below where, um, you can possibly get this plant. I will try as much as possible. If I can't find them, I'll probably just suggest the other variegated ficus elastica. Because this is this is more of a the rarer one, and I think the the reason it's more rare is because it's not it's not as lighter color with like the Tineki or um the 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 pink ones. I've only had this one for a very short amount of time, and I just got really really busy. Mom. I didn't, yeah, Mom. yeah. Mhm. Mm yes, honey. I didn't really have the time right away to vlog it because I, I want to document these plants. Um, I've never had the non-variegated ficus elastica or also known as the ruby tree. I mean, not the ruby, rubby. I'm sorry. I am dyslexic and I am suffering with PCS, so a lot of words kind of jumble. So um, this is also known as a rubber tree, a rubber plant. And I've never owned the non-variegated one. I never really liked the, the burgundy color. Um, I do like the green one. So maybe I will get that one. But you know what? It's weird how like I fell in love with the variegated versions. And it actually opened my mind that maybe I will get the burgundy. Isn't that just really ridiculous? But um, it's so silly. But... It's it's weird how like I fall in love with the variegated version. I didn't really like the non-variegated version. And now I have a few variegated versions. I kind of I'm opening my mind to the non-variegated one. Um especially the burgundy one which I've I would you know, you see them everywhere. You see them in every place that will sell a plant. And um I always thought that they were just so blah and boring, but now I'm kind of opening my eyes and be like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> so anyway, um, I cleaned her as much as I can. There are just a, like some spots um, that were there, and um, I tried to clean them as much as I can. And here is a spot right here. And um, I will show you the after, after I clean it. And I, 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 uh, this gash was right there when I got this. So it's not like there hasn't been any gash or issues of this plant since I got her. And she sits next to a window. Um, I think a west, oh, no, an east facing window, I think. I'm not sure, but it's not a south, it's not a north. So what I was, uh, from my research and, um, just paying attention, with this kind of plant, you can't put it next to a south or a north facing window. They will burn. But a west and an east one is not that harsh that they could sit right there in front of a window. Um, however, my Tineki is still really, um, they said it's the most fragile out of all of the variegated ones. So that one, I have to put it away from a window. But this one can withstand that for now. So far, I haven't seen any issues, so I, I'm pretty happy that I can put them next to a window. Um, so I just cleaned the leaf, and if you could see right here, hold on, because there's a big leaf on top of it. Um, I tried to clean it as much as possible, and there are no water spots anymore. There are still some, so let me do that again. 
and now she is clean. So um, I will link down below where you can find what I use to clean. I do not use like typical foliage sprays or like the shiny leaves kind of sprays. I am very scared of those. I've had a bad experience with the one from Miracle Girl. Um, so I don't really use that. I just really use a, a, a vegan cleaner. My cleaner, like an all-purpose cleaner for me. I tested it with a few plants before and it works fine. So I will show you guys these plants, right? I mean, these leaves right here. Um, I think the color of that is just a reflection. It wasn't really like brown or anything. That is just a reflection right now. Um, so as you can see there, there's a little bit of tiny like water spots. So I will clean that and then you can guys can see the after. There you go. They're now both clean. And as you can see, that's just a reflection of the light. And this looks a little bit um, kind of worn, but that's just when I got her, she was like that. So hopefully she just doesn't get worse. And that just, that's a good thing if you get a plant and she got a little bit of damage. Um, as long as they don't get worse, I think that's a good thing that you're taking care of them really well. If they do get worse, you just got to check what's going on. Um, if, you know, like a water or light or just health issue with the plant, the leaves always pop up and they're trying to communicate with you through the leaves and trying to tell you there's something wrong. Pay attention, please. That's always how it is. So um, this is my Fica Celestica Altissima. So this is also called a Fica Celestica Varigata. Um, the specific variegation would be the Altissima, and um, I will update this whenever there would be some kind of update that I think I would want to document. And also, uh, I would just want to show the bark right here. It is just beautiful. Um, the reason I'm so proud of that is when your your um, branches are this kind of color and they're like close to a tree-like, that means they're old, you know? Um, when it's still green, that means they're kind of babies. So that's, I'm really, really happy that I got that. Um, she's kind of in a strange position, but that's okay. I just can't wait for her to just keep growing though, which I can't wait for, you know, for her to just keep growing and just getting bigger and healthier and all that. So just can't wait for that. Um, so there you go. There's two branches down here and, um... I believe what they did is they cut, sorry, they cut there and probably propagated the top and this so that it will have two branches instead of just the one popping up, if you could see, two there and then oh, whoop, two there in the back too. So um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, if you have this particular plant, you have tips, advice, anything you want to talk about plants or this particular plant, let me know down below. Um, again, this is my first ever Altissima. So any kind of tip, any kind of advice, um, chit chat, let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. I hope you enjoy my vlog that you're going to hit the like button. And of course, if you haven't hit the subscribe button and the bell, so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. And all that, all that extra noise, that's my son. So I'm sorry about that. Um, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.